up everyone, welcome back to another video. So it's about seven o'clock in the morning at the moment. I made it out here. I'm in the middle of the Australian rainforest and pretty much the plan for the rest of the day is I'm gonna be attempting to build a survival bow with materials that I find out here. Now this is part one of the two part series and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to construct this bow, how to make it, how to get the arrows and everything. In part two, I'm actually gonna be going bow fishing with it, catching my own food and cooking it up. So if you wanna see that, it should be out in a couple weeks time. I got a couple things to help me build this bow today, a knife and a bit of cord, that's absolutely it. So I say we start finding materials, keep hitting up this creek system, hopefully find some cool things along the way. But yeah, let's get into it and make this bow. right now as I'm walking up this creek and I'm looking for a sapling or a sapling that has just fallen over. They are quite literally everywhere up and down these creek systems here in southeast Queensland so it's not going to be hard to find and once I find one I'm going to start shaping it up. So this stick right here, the one we just chopped up, is going to be the one that we're going to be carving the bow out of. All you need now is your knife, just get it right in the middle of the stick, just like that. Get a nice little rock and start tapping it down to split this in half. Oops, you can see that starting to split down the middle there. So there we go, the bow's just split in half like that. Now we can start carving it up and forming it into an actual bow. So this part here is definitely the most time consuming part of the whole bow because not only do you have to make everything perfectly symmetrical so that it bends evenly, you also have to carve this down into a much smaller object. But I'm just gonna sit here for the next couple hours, start cleaning this up because I'm really keen to see how it works at the end. So since this is gonna take a couple hours, I thought I'd tell you something really cool that happened a couple weeks ago. So we hired a boat, hired some bikes, went over to Stradbroke Island and was exploring around the island for the whole day. We went over to the beach, I was flying the drone and I spotted a bunch of dolphins sitting about 100 meters just off the shore. So I got the drone up being very careful of the dolphins and take a look at the footage that I got. So I've been carving this for about two hours. You can see that bow-like shape just starting to appear on this side. I've still got a long way to go and to make this an actual bow, to shoot it and everything, I've got to make arrows. It's gonna take all day definitely. So I'm glad I started early in the morning. I'm just gonna keep at it until it's nearly done. And yeah, hopefully by the end of the day, we've got a good bow that works and we'll be able to shoot a fish in part two. So the sun is just going down at the moment. As you can see, I've been carving all day and I've still only got half of the bow done. It looks pretty good. I reckon once I do all of this side, it's gonna be a really good bow that we will be able to shoot fish with. But since we've just run out of time today, I'm gonna to come back out here early tomorrow morning and finish off this bow, make some arrows and hopefully shoot a fish in part two. But that's pretty cool. I'm gonna start heading back to the house and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> It 
it's day two at the moment. I've got all day today to finish carving this bow. So I'm gonna get into it. I've got a long day ahead of me, but I'm keen to see the end result. Alright, so after about six or seven hours of just pure carving, you can see that the bow is actually pretty good right now. I've been bending it a little bit and it is looking good, but there are a couple more steps I need to do to ensure that this bow won't snap when I apply the string to it. That's like soaking it overnight in water and everything. And since I want to go bow fishing with this bow in a couple days time, I don't think I'm going to string it up just yet. But before we do anything else, I'm going to head up into the bush, hopefully find some sticks and a couple other things, maybe a feather that I can use to make the arrows out of. What I'm going to do now is go for a bit of a walk further up this creek system and look for a certain kind of bird's nest that can help me finish these off and make them shoot even straighter. So you can see all of this dirt has almost been brushed down and this is the culprit right here. This is the brush turkey nest. And what they'll do is they'll get all of these leaves, brush them up onto a massive pile and as you can see, just down here, there's a feather. That one doesn't look too good for the bow. But here's another one down here, and that will be perfect to make the fletches of our bow. So now that we found this feather, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the skin off these arrows right here, split this feather in half, and attach it to the ends of the arrows, sharpen off the tips, and then we should be good to go. Well, I was sharpening my arrows, but this little king parrot decided to come say hi. Hey, buddy. All right, so I just went back to the house real quick. It's looking pretty good, but there is a couple more things I want to do before I actually get it in use and shoot some fish with it. Just to make sure that it's bendy enough and won't snap, because I put so much work into this bow, I'd hate to break it straight away and then not even be able to go bow fishing with it in part two. But because I know that you all want to see how powerful these bows are and you want to see me shooting them, I bought one down that I made the other day. This is actually a bit of a different design here. All I did was I cut down a little sapling, put some grooves in the end, took off all the bark and attached a string onto it. Now I've got some arrows as well. I'm gonna show you how powerful this one is, but if I'm being honest with you, I think this one will work even better. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that. Not too bad for a homemade bow. And the thing is, I'm shooting it from all the way back there. I'm gonna be off my kayak or in the mangroves shooting right on top of a fish. So I'm very confident in this one and the one that I built today. So if you guys wanna see me come out to a little creek just like this and go bow fishing with these survival bows that I just built over the past two days, let me know in the comment section below. If I get enough support when I drop this video, I'll drop all the other video ideas that I've got and just go out Hopefully try get something with the bows, cook it up and eat it. Go follow me on Instagram if you want to see some more content like this. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys next Friday. And you never know, might even be bow fishing part two.